Hello, I'm Everest Joe. Welcome back to the world. You can see the pit we dug last episode. I have uh, upgraded it a little bit. I'm kind of hesitant to call it what it actually is because I know someone's around. Uh, so I'm just going to go over to the rail line and wait for him to show up because that's how we agreed he would show up. <laughs> put my chainmail boots on. I also got my nice shiny red velvet suit <laughs> back on because it's snazzy and we're going to be doing cards today. Oop, I almost forgot. Oop. Oh, hello. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? am I wearing? <laughs> By the look of it, a school uniform from Japan. Hey! Probably Japan. Yeah, pretty much. So, before we get into cards, I have something... Poker like or... Uh... <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean. You know very well what I mean. Yes, yes, I do. Follow me down the ladder. Or up it if you want to see the ice farm. Oh, neat. We have a hole. Ow. Right over here. Don't fall in because it's nigh impossible to get out. Can you guess what all this is? A creeper farm. No. Aww. It's a general mob farm. Mm. <clears throat> it farms creepers as well, but that's just a coincidence. Aww. I'm not making a creeper farm, man. Why? Because we don't need to accidentally blow things up. Aww. Well, since neither of us can sleep until the other one does, and it's too dangerous to go on the rail right now, do you want to do cards? Let's do it. All right. Uh, okay. Follow moi. Let's see what's in here as well. Nope, just two signs. Okay. So, you get one chest, I get one chest. Okay. So you get one chest and I get one chest, okay? Okay. Um, now we'll shuffle this. And like the sign says, after five draws, we shuffle and then the other person draws. Okay. And you get to draw first. <clears throat> okay. It's not done shuffling yet. Oh. The chest actually needs to empty first. It takes a while for this to work, but it's, you know... What are you doing? Punching a rock. That's not productive. I know. If you're gonna punch a rock, use a pickaxe. Thank you. I found coal. I'm chaotic neutral. No, you're chaotic evil. <laughs> Anyways, where'd you go? Done shuffling. Okay, just give me a minute. Uh, not there. There we go. You. Okay, so you pick five cards, and then we'll start shuffling it again. Okay. Just picking it off the top, then. Yep, that's what I did. Well, that's funny. Some cards should have came in to fill in the spaces. One did. 
Should have been more than that. Uh uh. I hope I didn't screw something up. I'll have to take a census of the cards later. So what cards did you get? Do uh -huh. you mind if I look? Go ahead. Alright. Also, it sounds like there is a zombie outside, so be on your guard. I have a sword. So what do we got here? Prophecy of Novices. Uh, sends all master cards in either sequence to their owner's discard. No master cards can be set on while well, this card is on the field. That's meant to say in the sequence, but whatever. Uh, Dragon Egg. Uh, when this card expires, set a card from your deck with Dragon and Youth in its family in its spot. You may set one additional card next turn. Cool. Another Dragon Egg. Prophecy of Ruin. And Bite. Cool. Yeah, there should be six cards that fill in the spot in the hopper, but it looks like they just didn't. Which is a problem. Hang on. You deal with that, I'm gonna go deal with the zombie. Ah, here's the problem. <laughs> hmm. The cards are getting stuck in the machine. Oh. Yep, there's another one. There's another one. So there should be three on the other side as well. Or not? Or not is a possible option here. Now yeah, there's two. I'll just double check all these droppers. Just to be sure. I bet I left this running and then unloaded it so some things got stuck in the droppers. Ah. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what actually happened. Alright, everything should be good. Let's see what we got. Uh, I will take this one, and this one, and this one. And this one, and this one. Let me start shuffling again. So I got... Bite. First strike. If I discard this card as part of drawing my hand, you, your opponent takes four blunt damage. If this card is in your sequence, your opponent takes one blunt damage when it activates. Meepa 43. I got Vic Fell, Master of Combat! Uh oh. Yeah! This card has a maximum age equal to the total number of basic combat and advanced combat cards in your sequence times two. When this card activates, use one of these effects. As one, add one basic combat card to your hand from your deck, add one training card from your deck to your hand, or deal one blunt damage for each basic combat, combat, basic combat, uh -oh. an advanced combat card in your sequence. Hey, you know what that means? It's an extra rare card. Yeah. <laughs> if there's ever another print of it. Rowdy Wyvern. Oh, that's one you want. Ah, uh, that's it? one I need. And kick. Okay, mm. I am going to put Rowdy Wyvern on the bottom here. And we dunch. Oops. Going through. We'll just flick that. Things start filling in. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go double check that there's nothing stuck in the droppers again. Cause that was a little embarrassing. And I no longer trust this machine. <laughs> or at least I don't trust it as far as I can throw it. And I can't throw it, so I don't trust it. And I guess it should be alright. I'll just have to be a bit careful. Alright, so you got another five. Oh, is it done? Yep. Okay. That one. This one. This one. That one. And this one. Okay. What'd you get? Let's see. Prophecy of Fortune. Ooh. That's 
good. I don't remember what it says. Here. I'm just gonna grab my note. I'm just gonna really toss quick. it to you. Oh, okay. Uh, remove from play the top card of your deck, then take any card from your deck, shuffle your deck, and put that card on top of your deck. Baby dragon. Oh, you got the- you got, uh, so that's- you- so you got two of those now? No, I've got one- one baby dragon and two dragon eggs. Oh, okay. High gravity training. Ooh, that's one that I need. Cause I was gonna go for the fighting deck. Okay. Ooh, two-fingered stab. That's another one I need. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Well. And... <laughs> Pressure point abuse. Oh, come on! <laughs> Jeez. All right. It's my turn to draw five. So, what, after this we should each have ten, I believe? Yep. One, two, three, four, and then the last one here. I'll just flick that. I got Komodo Hatchling! Yeah, I need that. Alright, so I'll just put that on the bottom here. Punch. It's just one blunt damage. <clears throat> Astral Projection, which is one that neither of us plan on using. Mm. Unless I decide to go with the ESP deck. Which I might have to, considering you've got all the fighting stuff. Well, remember I trade. That is true. You got two things I need. Um, I've got three for you at the moment. Kick. And... Forced Flashback. Alright. See how this one's looking. All right. Whenever you're ready, just flip that up, and you can start. And you can take your next five. Just watching it fill. And it should be empty. Okay. Let's take or full, I should say. It's the last one. Okay. It's the first one. All right. This one. This one. And this one. Okay, let's just get that shuffling again. Recollection. Oh, that... ESP. Uh, remind me what that does. Uh, recollection, put three of your removed from play cards into your discard. Okay, that's good for any deck, really. Uh, I should give this back to you. Yes, you should. Let's see. Uh... Baby dragon. Nice. I don't remember what that does. I think it just does some fire damage. Yeah, it does burn damage. Okay. Telekinetic strike. Okay. That, uh, you remove from play a card in your opponent's sequence and then they take one damage. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Pressure point of use. Oh, dang it. I'm getting all the ones that I need. You know what's weird? Hmm. That happens in real life, too. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Another teleconnect strike. Alright, alright. Alright, so. Just let that go. We'll see what I get this time. And we're at. We each have 10 then. Or, no. I we'll each have we'll, like, we'll each have 15 after this. So I'm gonna go with the last and the first this time. I'm also going to take the two in the middle and this one. I got forced flashback. <coughs> um, that one might be good for a deck in general as well. Uh, punch, great. <laughs> uh. A training card! Yes! I am forced to take one falling damage, no matter what, for this card. Okay. Baby Dragon! Mm. Okay. Another one for trade. And... Prophecy of Ruin. Oh! 
When this card expires and is sent to the discard, each player shuffles their deck, then removes from play the top two cards of their deck. Alright, I am... I think I'll keep that one. I've got both now. Both prophecies? Yeah, prophecy of ruin and fortune. Oh, okay. Okay. Again, I'll take the, fir the last and the first. Here, here, and here. Another dragon egg. Nice, nice. Kick. <laughs> nice. Recollection. Okay. Teleconnect strike. Right. Yep, that's the sword. Two finger stab. Oh. At this rate, you'd have better luck building a punch deck than I would. Are we calling it a punch deck now? <laughs> I guess. Mm. I'm not sure I like that name. Neither do I. Yeah. All right, let's start shuffling. What do you get, punch? <laughs> uh. All right, and that should just be working its way through, shuffling it out. And at some point, we're going to have to go and finish the redstone at the uh, arena tournament thing, because uh, I didn't. Ah. Shame on you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was busy working on the mob farm in my defense. Uh, I'll just take the top five. And uh, this will put me at five, ten, twenty. Okay, so then the, the next two would be our last one. Okay. Prophecy of Fortune. Okay. Oh no, you have both as well. Vareth, Master of Body and Mind. Oh, for crap's sake, how do you get both masters? Uh, there's another master, so you still have a chance. Uh. Recollection. Astral Projection. Remove from play one card in your opponent's hand, add one card from your hand to your opponent's hand. It goes to your discard when expired. You think that card would be pretty useful? Yeah, actually I do. And then Forced Flashback. I was really hoping I would get the, um... The last, uh, master in that one. <laughs> Just because I think it would be kind of funny. Okay, Prophecy of Fortune. Recollection. Okay, so we take five more? Or? Yeah, five more. Rush projection. And one, force two, flashback. Three, four, five. Mountain climbing. Nice. That's what I need. Memory wipe. Ooh. Move from play two cards from your opponent's discard. Komodo hatchling. Ah. That's one that removes cards from play. Pressure point abuse. Okay. Prophecy of novices. Uh, that's the one that gets rid of masters on the field. Yep. <laughs> Which if I keep my two, you might want to use. Yeah. All right. What do we get in here? Ooh, is that it? I'm going to take another look at the redstone, make sure it's not getting stuck. I'm also probably going to do this. Every time we do a run. And I told you I'm working on set number... I told you I audience. have almost an entire row of stuff for trade for you. Really? Yep. I am one, I am one set... Or one card short. I got three. <laughs> I got three things to trade that I know you want. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll just shuffle that up and then turn it off when we leave. Rowdy Wyvern. Need that. Yep. Okay. Another Rowdy Wyvern. Uh, yep. Bite. That's one for me. 
Protect. Remove from play the top two cards of your deck. Prevent all damage on your opponent's next turn. Ooh, I might want to keep that. And first strike. Which I might want to keep as... Oh, there's only two first strikes, isn't there? That's not first strike. That's Prophecy of Ruin. what I do with... Which one of us got the other first strike? I did. So I only have two first strikes and you got them both. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so that's all of them. Which means I need to take this sign off. There we go. Okay. So now we go about trading then, huh? Yep. Right. Um, well, I got five cards that I know you're going to want. Man, this is going to be hard without being able to see what the cards are, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, to be fair, that's the only way I could do it. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, let me see here. Okay, so I got high gravity training for you. Okay. I'm just going... And that's also why I put mine on the bottom row for trade for you. I'm just going to go through some things here. So. Which card did you say you had? Uh, this one is high gravity training. Okay. Well... I've got Baby Dragon, all three Komodos, and... or all three Wyverns and a Komodo. How about I give you one of the one of the Wyverns for that? Sure. Alright. I need to build a trading station. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got two finger stab. Um... Another Komodo? Yep. Or another wyvern, I should say. Mm. Pressure point of use? Uh, how about the Komodo? Yeah. I have another pressure point of use. Uh, I can give you the other wyvern for it. Sure. Mountain climbing? Uh, baby dragon. Okay. So I have... I still have three cards. I have here in my hand four cards I think you might be interested in. I have protect, um, which prevents all damage on your opponent's next turn, which would be good for use against my deck. And I have prophecy of fortune. I already have one. Well, if you want a second one. Also, Astral Projection. And I think you might already have one of those as well. And Forced Flashback, which takes a card, which you can take any card from your discard and put it on top of your deck. That one I want. Okay. Uh, how about a two-finger stab for that? Uh, wait. Um... Sorry, I had Vareth Master of Body and Mind. Where was the other master I had? Well, I'm just gonna check something really quick. Because I can't remember. Okay, yeah. Okay. Which one did you say? Uh. Pressure Print Abuse? Right. I will give you Forced Flashback for that. Okay. Then I... let's see what else I got in here. I got two-finger stab. 
Mm. And a kick. I've got... I kind of want that two-finger stab. Would you take a Prophecy of Fortune? Mm. What's it do again? Uh, remove from play the top card of your deck, then take any card from your deck, shuffle your deck, and put that card on top of your deck. Yeah. Okay. There you are. Okay. So, I'm not sure if I want to use Vareth, Master of Body and Mind. Actually, I do, because he's the only healing card in the game. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, Protect, I'll probably use as well. And astral Projection, probably won't use that. Uh, that's, enough. that's just the other Astral Projection. Recollection, remove, put three of your removal from play cards in your discard, maybe, if I decide to use Astral Projection. Ooh, I have the other Forced Flashback. I will definitely be using that. Wait, how many Forced Flashbacks are there? Two or three? It must be three, because I just count two. Oh, jeez. In a 20 card deck, I can only, I think I've got all that I want though. Alright, so our trading is done, and I've sorted out how I want to do my deck. I don't know if you have. I'm actually doing that right now. Uh, but we're kind of out of time right now. Alrighty. Yeah, so um... Next time, we'll probably go over to the uh, arena, fix its redstone, and have a proper a proper game. Um, here, have a sign. You can put that on the chest on that chest and say these are your cards, and I'll just put this and say these are my cards. We can make a more permanent spot for them later on. Uh, but for now, this has been Average Joe and Helen Crown, and we will see you next time when hopefully we have a proper duel. Adios.